Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and I figured I'd give you a quick Sunday uh, rundown mm -hmm. on pretty much what my shop is, and to show that really you don't need a lot. Um, when I say that, I look around and I see a mess, but uh, it is what it is, so let's take a look. All right, so I'm in my basement, and I pretty much have a workbench that I've got some supplies and some of my some of my cars there for video. Um, I got those tacky lights there <laughs> that I just put up. Uh, kind of adds a little ambiance, I think. But anyways, I use a GoPro for some of my detail work. Um, just a regular photography softbox and a Canon T7i. And I kind of have that set up. You guys are going to sneak peek at some of my cars here. Obviously, you'll figure out what they're for if you follow the channel. Um, upcoming build, I have this Rolls-Royce matchbox that I um, put my own spin on at the recommendation of uh, William Robinson. He actually sent it to me and sent me a picture to go along with it. So I'm going to use the snorkel out of the top 55, so you can imagine from there. Um, this, believe it or not, is the Stutz Blackhawk I did that I pimped out. Um, somebody won in the auction that I did, and uh, believe it or not, he wants me to sign it. So I'm going to sign it and send it back to him. It feels kind of weird and uh, to be able to put my autograph on something, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I don't consider myself famous, so <laughs> I guess that's the whole point. Um, there's my bone shaker that I made for somebody that I haven't caught up with yet. Um, I made the packaging for that. came out pretty cool. Then I got this bus that I found that I had bought probably eight years ago and I'm doing my best not to steal the wheels off it because <laughs> it's pretty killer um, so anyways so over here um, I stole my wife's craft cabinet and I've got some paints 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 Mustangs miscellaneous my sh beginning of my Chevelle collection I got about 20 more coming then over here um, I've got my spray booth Mickey Mouse with a hose and some tape up to my window <laughs> um, but again it works um, it is what it is um, you don't have to have anything fancy you don't even shit when I started off I didn't even have a spray booth um, I started off with that uh, pancake compressor um, I recently upgraded to that little baby it works awesome. And then over here is my, I was making a, uh, I was going to do a track, a drag track, uh, which is right there. Um, but I've just got so much stuff now. I don't have time or the space to do it. Um, that's why you get that tacky green indoor outdoor carpet on this. Um, my wife gave me, because she's a photographer, she had bought a, uh, a package and it came with a light box. So I use that now to take pictures. Um, I do have some empty wall space. So I have plenty of room for more stuff. Um, I've got all these. These are for, I'm taking the wheels off of all those. Um, and then I try to separate stuff that people send me. Um, I got all those. That's from uh, William Robinson, all those Volkswagens. I got, that's the O'Reilly set. Uh, my buddy Paul gave me. I'm going to build four for him. And he gave me four. Um, what else we got? I'm sending that off to somebody. I got more paints. Uh, this is my splash paints thing. And then I kind of have everything semi-segregated here uh, by, you know, Volkswagen, 55s, Camaros, Pontiacs, Camaros, 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 uh, some Chevelles, Novas, uh, five packs, stuff like that. So anyways, uh, it, oh, and then I got my garage, which I think is killer. I love it. Um, so yeah, I mean, you don't really need, I mean, I have it all spread out like a bomb went off, but you don't really need all that. So, you know, ultimately, whip around. Ultimately, all you really need is a little space. I mean, when I film, you're seeing, you know, a very small percentage of the workspace, but that's all you really need to work in. So, you know, and I think I got these 
at Harbor Freight for like 20 bucks, you know, and I put everything in there, probably too much, because you can see they're starting to fall down. And I'm like, I got just various things. I got my little bucket of wheels here that I, some of them are junk. I'll never do anything with, but I can't get myself to throw away. Um, and if you notice, I got this. And aside from annoying people with it, it or I could raise a souffle, um, I'm going to be using it for some brass projects I got coming up, um, as well as the soldering iron. And over here, I've got all my miscellaneous stuff. I got all my rod, my styrene, and then my junk pile of cars that I've taken apart. Some miscellaneous cars that I plan on doing something with. My green light wheels, more junk, and then all my gasoline bits and pieces and skulls and crap like that. Um, so ultimately, in the end, you don't need 90% of this stuff. Um, I just start buying stuff and then I can't stop. But ultimately you need, you know, I'm filming this right now with my phone, uh, which is probably why it's all over the place. <laughs> but um, in the end, you know, my goal with this channel is to, I don't even know if I'm in the, in, here we go. My goal with this channel is to um, hopefully inspire people to get out there and just try this. For me, I found it, I want to say relaxing. Um, at the end of a, a long day, I look forward to coming home and tearing something apart and customizing. And I know a lot of people say I don't, um, I don't do any restorations. There's enough people that do restorations. I've always been, even when I, I worked at the body shop, you know, customizing cars and building, you know, custom rancheros and uh, you name it. It's all about taking it apart and making something out of it. And I'm not a rest restoration type of guy i'm a more i want to cut it and make it better um i would take a pristine you know 63 split window coupe and cut it up you know just because um, plus it would piss a lot of people off which i kind of enjoy so um in the end you know you don't need a lot just have fun that's what it's all about if you don't have all the tools you'll get them but you got to start somewhere start by taking them apart just doing wheel swaps Hell, just start by taking them apart and, and buffing and adding some lights and details to them. Um, that's how you get better. And uh, hopefully um, I get better as well and the channel grows. And you guys come along for the ride. And hopefully um, I've inspired a few people, um, especially kids, to, to get into this. It's a nice, clean hobby. And it keeps them off of drugs, which is cool. Because um, you can't afford drugs if you're doing this crap. So, anyways, um, this is probably longer than I expected it to be. So I'll catch you on the next one.